What is up insaners and welcome to another video of the Fantasy Premier League 2022-23 season. In this one guys, we're gonna talk about some of the best FPL drafts to go for for your team for game week 17. So if you like any of these, make sure you hit the like button. Also subscribe to the Insanely Football YouTube channel for more FPL content. And with that, let's start today's video. We'll start with the first draft guys and this is a safe team, this is a very conservative draft. So in case if you don't wanna take a lot of risk, in case if you wanna play safe, and you want to protect your rank, I think this is the team to go for. In goal, we have Kepa and Ward guys. As I mentioned in my earlier videos, I think it's gonna be a popular combination. Both are premium options playing from decent teams. And if both teams can improve on the defense guys, I think they can provide a lot of value. Both aren't really costing you a lot of money, so you're not really investing a lot of funds in goalkeepers, which I personally don't think so makes a lot of sense because I think the value here is limited, the upside is limited. You're not gonna get more than six points for most game weeks and i think these two options are good to go in terms of the defense as well i think this is a pretty much safe defense so we've covered the arsenal defense with white we have Cancelo from man city and trippier from newcastle these are the best top three defenses in the premier league right now guys i think a lot of people are debating whether to go for Cancelo, maybe where to kind of look at some cheaper options from man city guys but i think Cancelo is definitely worth it He's probably the most nailed option in that Man City defence. We know that he can get attacking returns. Yes, it's not been that great this season. But I think because of the fact that he also kind of creeps up in those bonus points, I think that value is pretty much worth it. But in case if you want to go a bit cheaper, if you want to maybe downgrade to a different defender, one of Walker and Akanji can be options, guys. So whosoever is starting, if you get information that one of them is starting for sure, I think that option can at least give you the Man City defence. Might not give you the required attacking returns. But then again, you still have covered the premium defense in a cheaper way. I think same can be said for White as well, guys. He's not a 90-minute man for a lot of matches, let's say as compared to a Saliba or even a Gabriel. But again, he's a lot cheaper than both those players, guys. And you can save that money and invest that elsewhere on the pitch. As the fourth defender, we've gone for Dalo. Now, you can go different directions. You can look at a Brighton defender from game week 19. You can maybe even double up with a Newcastle defense. You can get in Botman, who's a lot cheaper. Maybe you can go for a Patterson if you don't want to use this option. But if you're still looking for a player who will give you probably 90 minutes, I think he could be an option as well. Not the best fixtures, but then again, you're not really investing a lot of money for this player to give you any points. So I think that should be okay. Talking about the midfield here, guys, we have Mo Salah as the premium option in midfield. We've not gone for Kevin De Bruyne, but instead we've covered KDB with Foden. Now, there are chances that Foden's rest or Foden's absence in that 11 might continue as Pep really did bench him for a lot of game weeks as against a lot of people's predictions guys and that probably can continue as well so we have to look, kind of look out for that but if Foden starts he's a great option he can match KDB for returns for FPL points as he's already not very far from him plus when you downgrade a KDB to a Foden you're saving again a lot of money which can be used elsewhere to make a lot of better upgrades so let's say Foden starts, you're absolutely fine, but if he doesn't, then you maybe go towards a KDB and then you chop and change your LM. Also, I have a draft of the same thing, guys, coming in the video very soon, so do look out for that. Then we have the Fulham double up in Pereira and Mitrovic. Again, a safer combination. A lot of people will own this combination. Fulham also have a double game week, plus they are decent options. Both of them are attacking options, probably the best options in the Fulham attack. I think they should be good to go. Among our forwards guys, Haran is absolutely safe, he's absolutely a must-have, a great captaincy option as well. If you don't have him guys, you should definitely think of getting him in your team. Because if he continues the same goal scoring run, you're definitely going to get a lot of rank loss. Then we have Darwin guys, because of the fact that Jota and Diaz are both injured, I think Darwin becomes a really good option from Liverpool. And I expect Liverpool to get better in attack, get better overall as well. Since Klopp has had this break guys and I think this will serve him good. I think Liverpool are gonna get better and Darwin, we know that he is a chance monster. He will get a lot of big chances and if he can even convert half of those chances guys, I think he should be good to go. Now let's talk about the second draft here guys. This is a slightly riskier draft, it's a slightly more attacking draft. So in this draft guys, we don't have any Arsenal players. I think that's the biggest miss. We talk about how you can get them but for now, we have James and Akanji as replacements in defence guys. So. We've gambled on the Chelsea defence. Chelsea has great fixtures, great defensive fixtures and if they can improve on their defensive performances guys, if they can start keeping clean sheets, I think their defenders could be gold. Now which one to go for? A lot of them are injured, a lot of them are probably not worth it. But I think if Reese James is fit guys, I think he's a great option to go for. I mean I don't really have to tell you how attacking he is, 
He's probably one of the best defenders in that Chelsea defense. It's just his fitness, guys. And if we get to know that he is absolutely fit, he's fit to start, he's a great option to get in your team. Again, not a lot of people will gamble on him at the start. And you can be one of those early ones who take the advantage of him getting a lot of FPL points for your team. It's a risky move for sure. But then again, you have a lot of options to go towards. You can downgrade to different defenders. You can maybe go towards an Arsenal defender. You can go towards a Newcastle double up as well. So there are potential options open for you in case of the James move doesn't work out. Now, because of the fact that we've invested a little less money in defense, guys, we can go for someone like a Madison here as well, who's the second 8-ish million midfielder in this draft, guys. Now, there are a lot of options in that category as well. If you feel that you need some Arsenal cover, you can go for Saka. In case if you are looking at a differential option, even more differential than a Madison, you can even look at Kulisevsky because this draft doesn't have Kane, this draft doesn't have any Tottenham cover. I think Kulisevsky could be a very interesting option. Otherwise, if you're looking at a Man United option, you can even go for Rashford. Maybe downgrade Madison to a Rashford and then you can change Martial, who's a third forward in here, guys. Again, a lot of options in that third forward position. I think Mitrovic is the safest option to go for. Then if you're looking for punt, the slightly safer punt is maybe Wilson. And if you really want to go all out there, guys, I think Martial is a great option. I think he's going to be fit. He's going to play in that number nine position. And let's see how United performs, guys. But I have a feeling that United are going to do well. And Martial is going to be a huge part of that success. Now, if you want some Arsenal cover and attack, guys, you can even go for Enketia because of the fact that Gabriel Jesus is going to be injured for some time. I believe Enketia is going to get a lot of minutes, guys. And he's again a great differential. Not a lot of people are going to jump on him because most of the people might have Martinelli and probably would look at a double up with Saka. So you won't get a lot of options going for Enketia. And I think he could be a great differential from a premium team. Now, let's look at the last draft here, guys. This is a premium draft. And I made a separate video only regarding premium drafts. So if you want some information regarding premium drafts in a little bit more detail, you can watch that video out, guys. I will post the links in the description below and also at the end of this video. But for now, we have premium options in Kane, Haaland and Salah, guys. You can also convert this premium into a Salah plus KDB along with Haaland. That also is an option. Now for this one, guys, we've retained James. As I mentioned earlier, you can go different directions. If James is not fit, you can have different players in. Then in terms of the other defenders, there's Cancelo, Dallo, Trippier. It's the same defense as the first draft that we had. Among our midfield as well, guys, we've gotten covered the Man City options as Foden. The Arsenal pick is Martinelli. Then we have Pereira and Almiron as cheaper options and Salah as the premium pick. In terms of our attack, guys, we're going with two playing forwards here. So we're most likely going to play a 3-5-2 or even a 4-4-2. And we have options in Kane and Haaland, guys. Both are standard options. Both are attacking options. Both are possibly the best forwards in the game right now. And we have them both. This draft looks pretty solid. So these were my drafts, the best drafts, the best FPL drafts for Game Week 17, guys. Do let me know what you think about these drafts. Do let me know if you're going for the same place or not in the comments below. Hit like if you enjoyed the video today, guys. Subscribe to the Insanely Football YouTube channel for more FPL content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.